Jack Yoko, Martin Ntua, yes. and Jonathan Rono, you're before this court charged of trafficking and distributing obscene material. Jack Yoko, would you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Martin Ntua? Not guilty. Did Jonathan Rono? Not guilty. All right. Counsel. Your Honor, if you may, I would like to put a bail application for the accused. Your Honor, there is also a case of uh, rape under investigation and the accused should not be granted bail. Your Honor, Jack Kyoko and uh, Martin Mutua are high school teachers and they've been for the last 10 years. I mean, I don't see the reason why they should run away. They've got investments here, they've got their families here. They shouldn't do anything like that. Whose shop was raised by the police and obscene material found on the premises? Your Honor, for the sake of my client's reputation, family and uh, careers, Set bail and let the court decide later on if they are guilty or not. The accused, Your Honor, could opt to fly out, yet there is evidence that is conclusive against them. Your Honor, Jack Kyoko suffers from a very severe allergic reaction and incarceration will only make it worse for him. As for Martin Mutua, he has an expectant wife and is due any time right now and needs to be home to care for her. As for Jonathan, he is a business Your man. Honor, the court should not try... Jonathan Rono was found with obscene materials when his office was raided. No bail for him. Jack Kyoko and Martin Mutua, bail set for 150000 each. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Please open your diaries. I'm just not in the mood today for any sort of haggling. So the date I set should be acceptable to the both of you. The hearing is set for the 21st of this month. Good. See you both then. Next case. For the two of you, I'll see you in the office tomorrow at 10 a.m. Okay, Jonathan, I'll come and visit you at the cell. I'm very sorry. I'll come in the afternoon. The business will go down. Relax, nothing will happen. Do you remember sex sales, yeah? You have to play for bed again. I will, don't worry, I will. did Joe say he would be? Mm, I'm not sure. He called about 15 minutes ago. Mm. How far away with the... Uh... Malpractice case of Dr. Amisi? Oh, they decided to settle. We are still negotiating the figure. The hearing has been set for the 15th, 2nd of next month. So you guys, it took longer than I anticipated. Bail? Yes. 150,000 shillings for Jack and Martin each. But as for Jonathan, he stays in remand until the 21st. Good. I want you to continue handling the case. Okay. Do the police have evidence against them? For Jonathan, yes. They raided his office and found many DVDs already packed and ready for sale, including posters, recording equipment, cameras and stuff, and some footage yet to be uploaded of the recent porn that they shot. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah, Except true. for the other two. Quite true. Mr. Marco, I'll handle it well. Good. Um, I'm off to Mombasa for two days, uh, handling the case there. 
I'll see you both when I come back. Travel safe. You'll be seeing this face real soon on TV, reading prime time news. <laughs> Continue dreaming. <laughs> My tickets? Uh, I've arranged for the driver to drop you at the airport. Mm, good. We'll see you in two days. Yes, sir. Don't let Ah, sir, sir. Ambrose, how do you know? How would I know? Sinim Tuako, you should have asked. Bad news, Demolisa. Ambrose. Salary Mitchell was under this month. Ah, don't worry. He will send the chairs when he comes back. Mfuko, Ochelewi, Kutoboka. Wahinga Lisema. Polly, relax. I'm going to have a match. I'm going to eyebrows. Do you know why we are here? Yes. All these years you have gone away. You have disappeared. Jabali does not even know you. You know it's all over. I was young. I was an idiot. I didn't even understand the essence of being a dad. I, I came back so I could make amends and make it up for my son. You didn't give a damn then. You can't give a damn now? Because I am his father. Jack, what are you doing here? We agreed to meet tomorrow morning. Yes, I know. But I'm just too anxious. Look, I have never been charged with any crime. Now there's a big chance I may be jailed. Jack, relax. I'm taking care of this and I'm going to make sure that I give you a very strong defense. Okay? You know what, since you're already here, why don't you just give me the side of your story and start preparing for the case already? Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so, so much. That way you'll know if I'm, uh, I'm going to be proven innocent or, uh, or mostly innocent, right? Yes, of course. But one thing, Jack, I just want to ask you to do this for me. Take it easy. I'm going to take care of this from now on, okay? Just have a seat, I'll be back. Okay. Hello. Hi. My name is Martin Mutua. Uh, I'd like to see your car. Mutua, you say? I have no booking for you today. Actually, I was supposed to come tomorrow at 10. Uh, yes, I was too, but uh, I was hoping that uh, you'd have a bit of free time today. Ah, oh, I came to realize what I've been missing in my life. And I cannot go on with my life knowing too well that my son doesn't have a dad. Paul, you know, you don't just wake up one morning and imagine becoming a father. Do you know also it takes more than impregnating a girl to become a father? It's a full-time job. Sir, with all due respect, I am Jabali's father. I I'm his father, and I'm going to be his father. And I'm recognized by law. I thought that by you calling me here, we could come to some sort of agreement. But I believe I was mistaken. Paul, you are hurting Elsie and Jabali. She's the one who's bringing all these problems. I don't want things to go that way, but with your stubbornness, you're giving me no option. Anyway, uh, the custody suit proceeds as scheduled. 
Jabali is my son. Now, gentlemen. Yes. Your love for erotic movies is going to cost you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> where did all this begin? When I was. Uh... Anyway, we are all men here. Um, <laughs> I was looking to spice up love in the. You know, things in the bedroom. Uh, it had started fading away, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, 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 I don't know what you mean. I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so I spoke to my friend here, Martin. We call him Dr. Love. And uh, we both agreed to, uh, uh, to I get some erotic movies to bring back the fire. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so I bought a new TV set and uh, a new DVD machine for the bedroom. Um, Dr. Love here gave me some movies uh, to watch. <laughs> oh, look, the bedroom door was always locked and the movies were hidden away. So Jack, did things get better? Oh yes, yes they did. <laughs> Much better. Much better. Uh, anyway, uh, one day my house girl called to say that my neighbor was beating up my son. Uh, I later found out that uh, her son James um, was caught watching uh, porn movies by his mother. <laughs> Apparently the little brat had been uh, masturbating. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, how old is, uh, is the son, uh, James? Ten, ten. Yes, ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Quite the man already. Eh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. No. So, um, uh, she called the police and uh, told them that I had been, I'd been selling the movies. But actually, it's my son who had made several copies and was selling them to uh, his friends. Oh. Right. Um, <clears throat> at what point did? Uh, Dr. Love, get involved in this. Uh, well, uh, when the police arrested me, they questioned me and I had to, I, I mentioned him. Uh, they arrested him next. <sighs> so then you referred them to um, Jonathan Rono, that is uh, Mwenda Poli. Yes, yes, I, okay. I, I showed them where I bought the movies from. Yes. Yeah. Um. So now the police raided the shop and collected evidence leading to the case. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Now, um, gentlemen, there isn't much to hold you. You are merely the consumers of the movies. You did not make the movies at all. And the evidence leads to show that you are not even trafficking, trafficking it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> we may actually be found innocent. Well, I can't really put or say much right now, but you may do well at the courts when you get there. Oh. It's just a hunch, but that's how things are right now. So as <sighs> we progress with the day, I'm meeting um, Wendapole, uh, Ronald okay. Litton in the afternoon. Uh -huh. And if there's anything that might come up, and I would love to get in touch with you and let you know any more details regarding what you've told me and what I get from, uh, from Ronald. That's okay. That's okay. That's right. okay. That's In the okay. meantime, yeah. gentlemen, yes. if it's possible, stay away from the erotic movie. For a couple of days until you settle this matter. There's a new one, by the way. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me just show you the way up.
prosecution and defense seems ready? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. I'm really in no mood to hear opening statements today, Councils. Uh, Your Honor, that's fine with me. Council, you may call your first witness. The defense calls in Lillian Terry. Which doctrine do you believe in? Christianity. Christianity. Place your left hand here. Raise the other one. Do you swear by the Almighty God that whatever you're going to say before this court of law is nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Lillian Terrier, last year you were a victim of sexual assault? Yes. It was raining heavily that day. I was on my way home. A man stopped and offered me a ride home. I got in the car. I lost consciousness shortly after. Next thing I remember waking up in a hotel room. I knew I was raped. I went to the hospital, then the police, to report it. Were the perpetrators found? No. A few months later, though, a friend of mine politely pointed out that he saw me in a porn movie. A porn movie that you don't remember acting in? Yes. I took the movie to the police, knowing that when they find the producer of the movie, my rapist will be found. And uh, were the producers found? No. Your Honor, I would like to submit this DVD as uh, the material that uh, Jack Kyoko and Martin Tua were distributing. Please have a look at the clip. It will only be turned to the judge for viewing, right? to submit the DVD to you as evidence before the court. Exhibit accepted. Thank you. Cross-examination. Have you been able to watch the movie? Yes. Did you manage to identify any of the men in the movie? Are any of them in this courtroom right now? Lillian, you may step down. Counsel? The prosecution calls in Jenny. Jack is my neighbor. It's his son that stole my son James, the obscene DVD that ruined his innocence. How did you discover that? There was this time that I went home early. I walked in on James, watching the DVD and touching himself. How did you react to that? I was shocked at him watching the video and touching himself. He's only 10 years old. I'm sorry. Uh, please tell us, what did you do next? I beat him up till he told me where he got the movie from. Kyoko Jr. sold it to him for 100 shillings. Is that when you went to Jack Kyoko's house? Yes, I was furious. I went and found Kyoko Jr. and I beat him up till he told me that he got the movie from his father. I proceeded to go to the police station immediately. What about the DVD? Mm. It's in police custody. Thank you. Mrs. Muya. It never occurred to you that uh, Kyoko Jr. stole this movie from his father for, I mean, by curiosity. 
I mean, boys will always be boys. No, it hadn't. Perhaps he's got a mind of an entrepreneur and maybe he thought, since he's a boy, maybe his friends would like the movie. And he thought he could make a profit out of it. Okay. It is your son who bought the DVD from Kyoko Jr. And not Jack Kyoko, right? Yes. So that means it's Junior who distributed this movie unknowingly and not Senior. Yes. Thank you. You may step down, thank you. Hi, is my is it? Sure, you can go see him. And sit there. I'll go and talk to Dad first. Yeah, you take care of it, bro. bro. <coughs> Mama Flora, how long have you worked for the Kyokos? For two years. Did you ever know that they have pornographic movies in the house? Yes. How did you know? Kyoko bought a TV and a DVD for their bedroom. So they would lock themselves in and watch. So one day when I was cleaning, I decided to look for it. Uh, how did you know what to look for? I'm an adult. I know. Were there other copies? He had many copies in the drawer. Thank you. Did you ever see Kyoko making several copies of the same movie? No. Did he ever parade it to his son so that he could get it? No. Did he ever watch it in the privacy of his room, like adults will do and uh, have the volume on a lot? Yes, they always did that. Mm. And Kyoko was also very discreet with the fact that he and his wife watched erotic movies, right? Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Mama uh, Flora, you may step down. Prosecution? The prosecution calls the investigating officer, Maki Brown. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Lying. You haven't slept in days. You're not so good at hiding your feelings. Jobal is dead. He's going ahead with a custody hearing. He seems intent on taking my son away from me. I don't know what I'd do if I lost him. You won't lose him. He's your son. Why will you lose him? Paulina, I'm scared. And I'm so angry. God, I'm mad. I mean, all these years, he never bothers. And now he walks back into my life our lives and expects us to accommodate him. He left me by myself. I raised Jabali all alone. This is just not right. It's not right. Hey, 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 hey take it easy. Huh? This stress will kill you. You need to be strong and focused. How can I take it easy when the man who left me when I was pregnant is coming back to take me to court and fight for the child he abandoned? Anger won't help you either. Hey, what about a quick remedy to soothe your nerves? What fix? Mark Kiprono. Yes. You are investigating uh, Lillian Terra's rape case, right? Yes. Please tell us, what did you find out? Uh, she was kidnapped, drugged, and sexually assaulted. Your Honor, the woman you see in the movie was under doses of drugs. Medical reports also show that. We had no leads at all until when she came to us with a copy of the DVD which was on sale. Until then, we, we, we couldn't tell exactly who was responsible for the crime. Was that before Jack Kyoko was uh, reported and arrested? Yes. We questioned Jack 
who then led us to Martin Mutua. Martin Mutua then confessed that he had bought the DVD from Mwenda Pole, a.k.a. Jonathan Romo. Uh, we raided Jonathan's office, where we found uh, copies of pornographic DVDs. We also found cameras, microphones, and the recent footage of uh, a recorded scene. Were there women in the DVD that you were able to identify? No. We are looking for the women for questioning. This will strengthen the case further. What of uh, Kyoko and uh, Rono's house? Were you able to search it? Yes. Jack had a collection of uh, the movies. So did Martin. Your Honor, I have a uh, recent footage of um, most uh, recent production, as well as uh, cameras and uh, recording material as uh, evidence I'd like to present before the court as uh, exhibit number two. Accepted. I will have a look at the footage later. Your Honor, there is also uh, evidence of um, DVDs that I found. Uh, here they are. I found them in... Um, Martin Mutua's office. I'd like to present them as exhibit number three. Accepted. Uh, the court will take a look at them later. Your Honor, there are also copies of um, posters that were printed and I found them in um, Jonathan Rono's of office. Please allow me to read them. Erotic adult movies, Kenyan movie with all languages at 200 shillings. For free delivery, contact 0744 I would like to present them as um, Exhibit 4, evidence before the court. Accepted. Thank you. That is all, Your Honor. Defense. Officer, did you view all the DVDs? Yes, I did. Mm. And... Uh, the three accused men here are not uh, identifiable in the, in the movies? Yes, yes. Mm. When you raided John, so Jonathan's uh, uh, office, you found him in the office? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was he working on the footage uh, then? No. The equipments were hidden in another room. Yes. The equipments were hidden? Yeah. My client did not know that. He didn't have a clue about that, considering the fact he was already working on something else. Uh, but the, 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 the office is registered under his name. But the equipment were hidden somewhere else, and the footage is also hidden somewhere else. I mean, you do not know if the equipment are his. You have no basis or absolutely idea if that equipment belongs to Mr. Kyoko. But the equipment were found in his office. Yeah, equipment which you cannot link to him, except for the exception that the equipment was found within the premises of the office. True. Thank you, sir. The witness may step down. Prosecution, do you have any other witnesses? No, Your Honor. Okay. The court will take a brief recess of 20 minutes. Out of your mind. No. Just a quick fix and you'll be all good. This is crazy. Hey, you need this. This is insane. Drinking at this hour. It's not drinking. It's a boost. It relax you. Come on.
Jack Kyoko, please tell this court why you have erotic pornographic movies in your house. Well, things were phasing out in the bedroom. It was getting dull. Um, so uh, we, that is, my wife and I decided to spice things up. Go on. Well, I consulted my friend, Dr. Love, we call him. Uh, that is Martin Munyo? Yes, Mr. Martin Mutua. Okay. And he suggested that I get uh, an erotic DVD and watch it with my wife. It learn new styles and all that. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, it, was it helpful? Oh yes, it, they were. They were helpful. Very. So, how did uh, the police end up to arrest you for having erotic pornographic uh, movies in your house, which you watch with your wife? Well, <clears throat> one day while at work, I received a call from my house girl, Mama Flora, telling me that Mama James, that is Mrs. Jane Muya, was in my house with her son, James, mm -hmm. and that she was beating up my son. Now, worried about my son, I rushed back home. The moment I stepped inside the house, I got the police waiting for me, and they arrested me there and then. And you were charged on the same, same day? Yes. They asked me where I got the erotic DVDs, and I told them that I got them from Mr. Martin Mutua. And they went ahead and arrested him too. What about the copies that your son was selling? Oh yes, the copies. Um, I didn't know that uh, he had gotten a hold of them and was uh, making money out of selling them until the day I was arrested. All right, thank you very much. Mm, thank you. Do you have a CD writer in your house? No. Does your neighbor's son, uh, James, have one? Not any that I know of. So it's a no? Look, I just don't know if they have one. I'll take that as a no. So, um, how does your son, who is 11, I believe, how does he manage to make copies of uh, this DVD if there is no CD writer around? Objection, Your Honor. One can copy a CD very cheaply in town. You don't really need to have a copy in your house. It's highly unlikely that an 11-year-old would conceive to make a profit out of uh, his father's entertainment collection. Yeah. But it's also highly unlikely that a kid can have a business mind. Jane Muya testified here that is Kyoko Jr. who sold the DVD, not Kyoko Sr. Please. Overruled. Cancel. The only person who can answer that question is the young boy who you did not call to the witness stand. <sighs> Mr. Kyoko, you don't have to answer that question. Thank you. Jack Kyoko, you may step down. We'll be right back with more news after the commercial break. Don't <laughs> go away. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> How are you handling Renee? Who? Joe's lapdog. Mm -hmm. She thinks sleeping with him will guarantee her a job here. I can't wait for the day Marco will find out and kick her out of here. I'm surprised you didn't go to court with George. Hmm. Marco gave her some work to do. Hmm. So how's your love life? I see you receiving more and more flowers. Nothing serious. You know mm. me. <laughs> You're right. For real. I'm out to explore and meet as many people as I possibly can. <laughs> but I see the Chrysler dude coming here quite a lot. <gasps> How do you know he drives a Chrysler? Nothing passes me. The first time he came in, I had to check him out when he was leaving. <laughs> Not bad, sister. Mm. Not bad. <laughs> Uh, yes, that is true. I did. He came to me uh, for some manly advice. And I suggested that uh, he tries uh, watching this movie with his wife to, um, uh, you know, learn something new. 
Uh, they've worked quite well for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we understand that um, you gave him these erotic pornographic uh, DVDs from your very own personal collection. Yes, that is uh, true. Uh, I gave him the ones which I had already watched uh, because I have quite a collection. And uh, why, uh, where did you buy them? From Wendapole's shop. Um, I gave the police the directions to the place when they demanded to know where I got the DVDs from. And that's where it all unfolded now that you were arrested? Yes. Sir. When the poly, also known as uh, Jonathan Rono, he is the one who specifically sold you these uh, DVDs, right? No, absolutely not. Uh, I did not even know him until we spent some time in the cells together. Mm -hmm. uh, in the shop, there were other people who were doing the selling. Okay. Meaning that you bought them there, but it's other people who sold it to you? Yes, that is correct. Did you ever make copies of these uh, erotic DVDs? No, no, absolutely not. Um, I rarely watched the same uh, movies twice. I had, um, once I was done with them, I would just get, give them away. John Kyoko being one of the people you gave your DVDs to? Yes, uh, especially after I started watching them, uh, I would always give them to him after I was done with them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Council. Yes, Your Honor. Sounds like um, you have formed the habit of uh, watching pornographic material. Objection, Your Honor. Whatever two consenting adults do within the confinements of four walls, it's no business we brought in court. Overruled. Counsel, ask the question. So, you buy uh, the movies for your own viewing? Yes, I do. You must be buying a lot in a month. Oh, yes, several, several. <laughs> what, do you, what do you do with them after watching? Well, I, I just give them away. Or sell to get your money back. Uh, well, sometimes, oh. but uh, only to my friends. Sometimes? So uh, um, you sell obscene materials, meaning you distribute them? Objection, Your Honor. That makes you a distributor. Objection, Your Honor. You cannot be a distributor if it's your friends who benefit from that. No meaningful cross-examination. For further objection, I'm already done with the cross-examination. Mr. Mutua, you may step down from the stand. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Dad. How dare you smile? You stole money from my bed. Then stole the car to go drinking all over town. You get arrested by council Ascaris. Now you want me to bail you out? Dad, you want me to give you more money after stealing from me? Dad, calm down. You stole from your own father. Stole from your own home. Dad, what please. am I to do with you? Dad, please. What's wrong with you? How did I end up raising a thief? But Dad, I did not mean to ignore the zebra crossing. Did not mean to ignore the zebra crossing. Is that what I... Dad, Dad, <laughs> to make a difference, he's drunk. I repair and sell recording equipment. That explains why there were tapes, cameras, and recording equipment in my office. Right, what about the pornographic material that was found in the DV tapes? I know nothing about them. But they were found in your office. I usually allow my staff to handle the equipment. It is possible one of them might be responsible for them. Where is your staff at this moment? They fled when the police raided my office. Oh. Did the police conduct a proper interrogation or investigation amongst the workers? No. They said I'm, a, I'm the one responsible for the production. So you mean the police did not conduct a proper investigation before or after you were arrested? No. I'm a victim of frame-up. What about the DV tape containing the material found in your office? I had never seen them before until then. I didn't even know my shop sells pornographic material until I was arrested. All this without a proper investigation being done? Yes. Thank you. State Prosecutor, your witness. How often do you go to your office? Almost every day, apart from Sundays. 
And uh, how long have you been in the business of um, repairing and selling and recording equipment? About seven years. Same location? Yes. Have your employees ever stolen from you? No, I keep a keen eye on their job. I'm a prudent businessman. So, you go to your office uh, six days a week. You've been in the same business for seven years, same location seven years. You keep a very keen eye on your employees. They have never stolen from you, <laughs> or so you claim. But somehow they managed to record, produce, and sell obscene pornographic material for seven years, yet you never even once suspected. How come? Or oh, should I rephrase the question? Did you understand? I'll rephrase that for you. How does a prudent businessman who keeps a keen eye on his employees not even know when they're producing and distributing obscene pornographic material? I object, Your Honor. State your objection. State your objection. Joe Cario, don't you ever pull that stunt in my court again. Mr. Rono, answer that question or I will hold you in contempt. I guess they are very clever. Very clever for you not to know or they produce for you. Objection, Your Honor. Una what? Joe Cario, I warned you. Next time you object unnecessarily, I will lock you up for one day for contempt. The proceedings in my court are not a joke. Go on. So are you the producer or not? No. No further questions, Your Honor. Am I to just say this? And you're like 8,000? Dad, is everything all right? Can you smell that alcohol? No, there's no alcohol here. He's drinking in my office. He wouldn't do that. He dares drink in my presence. You didn't do that, Dad. You stay here. Get out. Get out of my office. How dare you drink in my office? I'm not drinking. Bring in alcohol in my office. But I'm not drinking. Don't lie to me. It's freaking all over the place. But I'm not. Get out. <laughs> My colleague here made a statement. What two consenting adults do within the confinement of their four walls is uh, none of the court's business. I agree with him. But when their business becomes known by the children, a child whose innocence cannot be regained, a child who begins to engage in sexual activities at the age of 10, then it becomes the, children, uh, the, the business of the court. When adults begin the promotion and production of uh, pornographic material, then it becomes the business of the court. When the production of such pornographic material involves the abduction, intoxication, and rape of our young girls, surely then it becomes the business of the court, and the court should punish such people. I don't need to remind the court of the evidence the prosecution has brought before you, the cameras, the DVD, the tapes, Everything here, all I ask the court is, on behalf of all the parents that are here, on behalf of all the parents in the country, is to punish such people. People who destroy the innocence of our children, who drag and assault our young girls in the name of flaming up their dull, boring, monotonous relationship. We should punish such people. Defense, your closing statement. Your Honor, I believe in justice and also believe in protecting and caring for our children. I also believe in not punishing innocent people. My clients 
did not show the erotic DVDs to the kids. It was well hidden. Kids being kids accidentally found it. And whatever happened after that was totally out of their control. Now, Jonathan was arrested without a proper investigation being carried, and the police believing completely that he's the producer of these movies, without considering that maybe his workers colluded with other producers. Have they produced the crew that supposedly made the erotic DVDs? No, they haven't. Because there are none. Your Honor, the court is to protect the innocent and to punish the guilty. Sending these three people to jail will be punishing the innocent and letting the guilty free onto the streets to destroy the innocence of our children. I will make my ruling tomorrow at 3 p.m. Court is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite a drinker. Do you have some more? I can organize for some. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, who's a drinker? carefully considered all the evidence submitted in court and even put to mind the welfare of children. This is my ruling. On the matter of the Republic versus Jack Kyoko, Martin Mutua, and Jonathan Rono, on the counts of the distribution and trafficking of obscene material, the court finds Mwenda Pole, also known as Jonathan Rono, guilty. The court also orders that Jonathan Rono be charged on the counts of the abduction, drugging, and sexual assault of Linda Terry immediately. Yes. Jack Kyoko and Martin Mutua. Your sexual escapades and desire for excitement and flavor in your bedroom affairs got completely out of hand when the children laid their hands on the DVD. It is your responsibility to ensure and maintain the innocence of our children. I mean, we all know that children are curious beings. You should have exercised much more caution. The court lets you off with a warning. There is no evidence to support the charges against you. And I hope that this has taught you both a good lesson on discretion of your sexual behaviors. Court is adjourned. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent. Well done. Well done. That was something. Well, what does that mean? A new case will, have, will be opened against you. And I'm, but they will open another, they will open another case against you. We're going to pursue it. Relax. We're going to deal with it. We'll deal with it. Okay.